Hey everyone, so this is episode 95 of the Purposeful Mindset Podcast and it's going to be a solo episode with just me, your host and I'm going to keep it unscripted as always. It's going to be just me and my thoughts sharing with you guys some of the things that I honestly have learned along my podcasting journey but just also just some of the random thoughts that I have currently in in the time of this podcast of just thoughts and perspectives that I'm having in my life and, and just some deeper introspections and reflections that I'm having that I hope can add some value to you guys and your journey. This is going to be a shorter episode. I'm going to keep it just 10 minutes long and uh, hopefully we can uh, we can get straight into uh, providing as much like energy and value as I can to you for you guys to hopefully crush this week but also take some of the lessons that I share with you to go and hopefully take action on upon your own lives. So uh, the first thing that's in my mind that I just want to share with everybody is that this perspective of everything happens for a reason. And the reason why that's been playing on my mind for the last couple of days is because I honestly believe truly that whatever you're going through right now, whatever struggles you have, whatever challenges you're going through, whatever hardships you may have right now, whatever doubts you have within your own mind, whatever skills that you think that you can't learn, whatever um, whatever like basic necessities that you think that you may not have, that you do have, that other people in the world don't have. I just want you to focus on those things today and just be grateful for where you are right now. And just understand that everything that you have right now is due to some of the decisions and the choices that you've made prior to that meaning whatever you are, wherever you are right now whatever you have right now has come from a decision or a choice that you made at some point in the past which is basically all about your growth the perspectives that you've been having the mindset shift that you've been going through the personal growth that you've been doing the self-development that you've been going through and just all of the things that you're experiencing through your body and your soul and your like mentality right now it all came from certain decisions and small choices that you made at one point and so the reason why I wanted to share that is because I honestly believe that wherever you are whatever's happening right now you are exactly where you're meant to be and you can believe that or not that's just the truth like you are exactly where you're meant to be right now and so if you're stressing about the past please stop If you're stressing about the future, please stop. And if you're worried right now what's going to happen today, also please stop. Because you have nothing, you have no more control over what's going to happen in the future. You can definitely not go back in the past and change that. So what do you have is right now, this present moment right now. So take some time to just put your hand, your right hand, put it onto your heart. Feel that beat. You're alive. You're blessed. 400 trillion to one is the opportunity that you had to be alive right now. That you're you're just lucky. You're lucky and you're blessed to just be alive right now. So just take some time out to be grateful for your life right now because I certainly am grateful for my journey so far and where I am today. And I'm nowhere near where I want to be. But let's not focus on where we're not, where we're not right now. Let's focus on where we are and all the things that we've accomplished, all the things that you've done till today. Because I, I can almost imagine that you've already accomplished and grown so much that you've already come so far so acknowledge that you know just acknowledge that and pat yourself in the back thank yourself be proud of yourself pick yourself back up again and just tell yourself that hey you're not a loser you're a winner you've done so much that you have made a massive shift in your perspectives and in your mindset compared to where you were last year this time Okay, so that's the first thing I just want to share. Everything happens for a reason. You are where you are. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Please understand that. And please, if you have any stress or worries, then uh, either either find some solutions to those uh, specific types of issues that you're going through, whether you need a professional in that field, whether you need to reach out for help, whether you need to find some answers, go and ask me and ask other people out there who, who are there to be of service, who are there clearly just for the act of service that we want to help, that we actually care. 
So that's the first thing I want to share. The second thing I want to share is a uh, is something that a lot of people are struggling with currently that I'm finding is to get out of their comfort zone. You see, most people they they think that if they stay where they are doing what they're doing, they're gonna get better results. But you and I both know in hindsight that if you don't do something different to what you're doing right now, your life doesn't change in any positive way. The only way to get change is to do something different, is to go and start a side hustle, start that side business, start that project you've been putting off, write that book, put out that content, share those thoughts, put out a message into the world, make videos, make a YouTube channel, make, you know, have your own pod, start your own podcast, whatever it may be that you're struggling with right now, you got to get yourself off the seat, off the comfort zone, the sofa, the bed, Netflix, whatever it is that's holding you back, the distraction that's holding you back. You got to, you got to crush it. And the only way you're going to crush it is if you're serious about the decision you make in your mind, because trust me, Everything starts with a thought and that thought turns into an actual solid, serious decision. And I can tell you from my own journey that when I made the serious decision to change my life, to shift from the nine to five workplace to having my own business and to one day full time run my own business and to change lives around the world and to touch one billion people's soul through my content, through my messages and whatever way I can reach them, to change lives and to serve others and to and and to share my purpose with the world for those who need to find me because you got to understand that not everybody in the world will ever find you or know your name but every single person that knows your name should remember you for the rest of your life that is how i see it and so one of my missions is to always be kind enough and humble enough to do my best to be of service to anybody that comes into my life and help them in any tiny way possible and for them to remember that I helped them with that thing and keep me in their prayers. That's one of the things that I wanna live by, I wanna be known for, and I hope that you can kind of take that attribute that I have and implement that into your own life. So that's the second thing. The third thing and the last thing that I actually wanna share with everybody is this, this, this whole concept that I always talk about. So, so the second one was about comfort zone. The third one is about basically just being proud of yourself that's what it's about it's about just acknowledging your successes that you've had it's about being proud of you because you know a lot of people beat themselves up that they're not where they want to be but in reality they have actually accomplished a lot in their life compared to most people i was having a conversation with someone the other day and i was telling them just think about all the people that are that are around you today and bear in mind, this is someone that's already very ambitious, already doing something, already trying their best to, you know, work towards their passion and their purpose. And so I was telling them that just in, look at all the people around you right now. How many of them are doing anything similar to you or even come close to what it is that you're doing or even have the ability to be as ambitious and passionate as you? How many of those people are like you in terms of that, that mentality? They said, not that many, if I'm being honest. And I said, exactly which already proves that you're already in front or you're already ahead of many, many, many millions of people out there in the world. You're already doing enough. You should already be proud of yourself. You should already be thanking yourself for where you are today because believe it or not, you have done so much and accomplished so much in your life that right now you are where you are because of those choices and decisions that you made in your past. And that's the first thing that I shared. So it's like a little loop that I just shared with you because once you're proud of yourself, once you've believed in yourself enough and you've gone out there and tried to do something more with your life and you failed and you've got rejected and you've had hardships and you went through the obstacles and you got challenged a lot along the way, that's only part of your growth. It's only part of your true inner growth, your mind shifts, your paradigm shifts, whatever you want to call it. It's all part of your journey and your life is like a path. You're walking across that path every single day. You're taking steps towards your future self. How do you want to be remembered? How do you, you want people to remember you by when you one day are no longer on earth? How do you want to be remembered by the people who knew you? You know, really think deep about that and introspect on that sometimes. 
because it's that those deep moments where we take out time for ourselves to be proud of ourselves to be grateful for what we have to take out time for reflection to really think deeper about where we are and is it enough it is enough and if you think it's not then it's because there's some people in your mind or there's a little inner voice the little inner demon that i always talk about is coming and sneaking up on you every day and you better start getting bolder and killing that ego, killing that inner voice, killing that demon by asking yourself, what would you do if you were 10 times bolder, as, as my mentor Caesar taught me, and as the movement that I've been promoting for the last couple of months, the, 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 the new partnership that I have with the Beat and XP movement, because I believe in it so much. It's, it's part of my mission. It always has been, and he's changed my life, and now it's me, it's time for me to go and spread that love and that, that message with the world. So whenever you feel down, sad, depressed, anxious, frustrated and, and have some fear or anxiety, ask yourself, what would the 10 times bolder version of me do right now? And then five, four, three, two, one, and just get up and just go and implement something, go and act on something, go and do something physical, or just go and focus on the present moment in however you choose to do that. That is going to help you this week and in the coming weeks to at least move forward a little bit to at least acknowledge where you are to, to at least be grateful for what you've done so far and just be proud of yourself because most of us never take time out to just sit down and just be proud of ourselves hey Sadiq well done man you should be super proud of yourself you've got two partnerships this year no most people don't have partnerships most people don't do TED talks most people don't start a business most people are scared to start a business most people in the world actually are not very confident. Most people in the world don't speak the way you do. Most people in the world do not uh, stay as consistent as you, Sadiq. So that's just, I'm just giving you an example of, of what I share to myself, because these are the things that I'm very good at. These are my strengths. These are the things that I know I've practiced and practiced and practiced to become so good at today. And I know that hopefully... If any of you watching this or listening can take any of these pieces of wisdom and these life lessons that I've gone through and implement them into your own journey and just understand that you are where you are because of the choices and decisions you've made in the past and that you should be proud of yourself. I hope that's enough for you to take some energy from me. I'm going to send you all a Hadouken hug right here, bang, sending it over. If you're watching me on YouTube, like bang, I've sent you the Hadouken hug. I hope you can receive it. I hope you can take my energy this week. I hope that you can go and implement some kind of action this week towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards your purpose and your passions. And uh, if I can be of service to any, any one of you watching this or listening right now, please go onto Instagram and DM me and share some love. Show, send me a message. Let me know how I can help. And I will do my very best to, to do exactly um, what it is that you need me to do if I have the ability to do that for you. So... Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for listening. Thank you for always taking time out to watch this on YouTube. Thank you for all the support that you've given me because believe it or not, you guys are the ones that keep me inspired to keep the podcast going, to keep my, my content going out there every single day. So I thank you. I am so grateful for every single one of you. I love every single one of you. I appreciate you all. Thank you for taking the time out to listen to this episode. It's a short one, as I said. I hope it brought you some value. And I hope, as always, that you guys can go and take some action this week towards your goals and your dreams. And uh, hopefully I will see you next week with either a guest. And if not, then you'll be me back again solo as I, as I continue to try my best to bring as many epic guests as I can on the show to, to for them to share their life lessons. But I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you next week.